Hey Max Impactors, it's Tim Rosanelli and it's the time of year to chop wood in the fall. You know, I could never understand why people would pay a lot of money and smash a tire with a sledgehammer when they could just go and chop some wood and have a productive product as a result of their work. Both axes, you swing in a, a similar motion. Now here's what I see a lot of people and what uh, one of the most inefficient ways is I see a lot of people they come around like this and then they come down on the wood. And the reason why you don't want to do it that way is because all this back motion is inefficient. What you really want to do is just bring it right over your head and then drop the weight straight down on the wood and use your legs to get a little bit of a snap at the end. Here's the setup. I have a stand that should be anywhere from knee to waist high. And the reason why is because when the ax comes down, it's gonna make an arc and you don't want to miss your base. When I put the wood on the base, I always put it towards the front end. That gives me some extra space. So when the ax comes down, it makes sure it makes contact with the base after you hit. So I'm gonna take my athletic stance and if you need to measure how far away, it's basically take your non-dominant hand and hold it right out like that. That's where I'm gonna be hitting. I'm gonna bring it in. Now watch, instead of bringing it up and around, which I consider a wild swing, you're just gonna bring it straight over your head. I'm gonna drop the ax and then bend my knees and I should always hit exactly the right spot. Here we go. See, you got it right in half. Let's do it again. So athletic stance, I can measure, bring it up straight up over my head, drop it down and straight through the wood. And the wood goes flying. With this swing, you could just go all day. I mean, you won't get tired very easily because you can just sit here like this. Does it, your muscles are right in the right position. So it's really easy to bring the ax up over your head like this. And then it just drops straight down. You can do that all day. I'm just dropping the weight. I don't try to put a lot of extra effort into it. You don't see any wild swings. And I know exactly where the ax is gonna hit every time. No problem, if you, if you don't break it the first time, see I got half of it done, bring it up, and then the second one gets it. It's much preferable to have it not cut, than put too much effort, because too much effort, you're just gonna get tired out. So I'm doing this wood for my outdoor fire pit and I like the wood to be really small so that it burns and doesn't make as much smoke. So after I get to about this size, about, you know, a little bit, two, maybe two forearms width, I go to my regular ax. Same swing. You're not gonna swing it up and around. You're just gonna measure here. Now these are gonna be a little smaller, so you have to be a little bit more accurate. I bring it in. Same thing, I bring it up, drop it straight down, and cut it right in half. Let's do another one. This one's about the right size. Here, bring it up and straight down. See how I go straight through? I hit the base every time. The smaller they are, the easier they burn. The less smoke you get. Hey guys, I just finished up my pile of wood and it's right here behind me. If you like this video, go ahead, like it, share it with your friends and comment below and we'll see you in the next video.